Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Prosser here again. And for this part of the bomb game project, we're going to look at how you move your character left and right. Right now, there's a cute little animation, but I actually want my character to move left and right. So let's get to it. First, let's put a comment in here that says, you know, this is gonna be where my character walks. So this is where I'm gonna set that up. You'll notice I'm putting it in the draw loop because we want to check over and over if the keys are being pressed. So you'll notice we're thinking, okay, if the left keys pressed, move left. If the right keys pressed, move right. So we're going to need if statements because we're thinking if this happens, do this. And then if this happens, do this. Next, we have to think, okay, well, what do we want to check? I want to check for my character if the left arrow key is pressed or the right arrow key is pressed. So I'm going to go to world. This is where your mouse and all the other different options are. I'm going to put key down. I don't want to check like every time it's pressed down. I want to check, is it being held down to keep doing this stuff? So I'll go to key down. And I'll start with left. And my other one, I'll have key down right. So I'm going to check these two things. If the left key is down, do this. If the right key is down, do this. So then I just need to figure out how am I going to move my character. So moving the character, I have to think, well, what position am I moving it? Am I moving the Y or the X value? If I show the grid, this can also help. So the Y, remember, goes up and down. X goes left and right. So if I want her to move left and right, I'm gonna be messing with the X. So I'm gonna go here. I'm going to need to change girl's X value. The question is, what should I change it to? Now, you just have to think, okay, well, what, do we need to reduce the X number or increase the x number. So moving left, if I move my mouse to the left, I can look right underneath the show grid and it'll show the x is actually decreasing as I move left. If I move right, the x increases. So I need to take this value girl.x and subtract from it to make it move left. So remember, you're going to use the counter pattern. And what I'm going to do here is I'm saying the new value of girl's x position is equal to the old value minus 1. So it's updating for this run of the draw loop. It's updating it so that the x position moves over 1 from the last x position. Now, if I run this, and hold down the left arrow key, she moves. Maybe you're thinking, I want her to move faster. You could increase this number. So if I made it like four and I run it again, she's gonna move a lot faster. Um, I, I'm gonna do like two for mine. You can also, if you're thinking, well, wait a minute, I, I think she's like moving a little bit slowly, the animation. You can actually go to your animation and here where the turtle and the rabbit is, you can adjust this slider and it will make her move a little bit faster. Um, and it's a good idea to probably do it the same amount for both of them, both the left and the right. Now, if I come back, I can take a look. I don't know. That seems a little weird. Maybe three. Basically, you're going to kind of want to see what makes sense for your character. Um, I might even reduce it a tiny bit. So again, this is personal preference. You're going to want to set it to something that you think looks good. Now, there's another thing we need to do, which is the right. Moving the character to the right is going to be the same thing. Girl.x equals girl.x plus and I'm going to say three since I already used three. And remember, plus, the reason we're doing plus is because 
if you scroll to the right here, the x value increases. So if we want to go to the right, we need to increase or add to the x value. Now if I run this and press and hold down the right key, it does this. But there's a problem with that, obviously. The problem is it doesn't flip my character to look the other way. Now keep in mind, that's just changing the costume. So these are like costumes. I want to change it so that when we press the left key, it changes to the left costume. When the right key is pressed, I want to change it to the right costume. And these costumes are just called animations. So in the code, I'm going to go and in this loop or in this uh, if statement, I'm going to say, OK, if the left key is pressed, I want the X position to change and I want girls animation to be the one that faces left. I'm going to do the same thing over here, girl, but this is the right key. So this time I'm going to say when we press the right key, set the animation so she's facing right. And now if I hold down left, she'll go left. And if I hold down right, she'll go right. Congratulations, you have a little walking character. Yay. I'm going to stop this video here and feel free to watch more videos if you need more help on different parts.